Red is disappointing day for Leeds United. Uh, looks like their playoff hopes are uh, coming to a conclusion. Well, I mean, it's, it's looking that way, but um, and you know, it wasn't a great performance today. I don't think you know that, and I do think that Burton deserved to win. To be fair to him, they just seem to want it a little bit more than Leeds. But I have to say, I mean, you know, what you don't want to happen is. You know, these last few games to, to spoil what has been an absolutely fantastic season for these. I, I just think they've been great this season. You know, they've made great strides. Um, it's frustrating because you know when you're so close, you feel like you can touch it. But um, you know, there's been a lot of good things that's gone on this season, and there's been a lot of things that's been built. The worry for Leeds now, though, it's out of their own hands. They came here knowing three wins in three, they were in. Now they're relying on Fulham dropping points and the way they're playing, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Well, no, I mean, listen, for me, I, I think Fulham are, are the side that's, the, you know, the, the, the form side and the side that's capable of going on and, and probably even competing at Premier League level. Um, so they would have to come across Fulham anyway if they do reach the playoffs. And, you know, and for me, they, they're the side that's going to go up along with Brighton and Newcastle. But um, I, I just think the frustration is obviously it's getting so close and you know and, and it just fizzling out a little bit. There's still something to play for. You know, Leeds have got away to win the last two games. If they do that, sides can slip up. Um, we've seen that in the past, but um, you know that's how they've got to go about it. That's how they've got to go about it. What happened today? Then they had a lot of the ball for large parts of the game, but didn't necessarily do anything with it. And by watering goal, I can't recall him making a meaningful save. No, I think I think they, they lack quality in the final third, um, and I think. Probably that's been the Achilles heel, you know, in this running. Um, I thought Hernandez played well today, I have to say, and I, and I know that you know he makes mistakes and, and, and he tries to play in the wrong areas at times. But his quality is fantastic. You know, he had two or three balls that, that really put people in the clear, and um, that sort of bravery, you know, does win your games. But um, I, I just think that you know, over the 90 minutes, I, I thought Burton wanted that a little bit more. I have to say, when when it really came to stick and lift, I thought they got the bodies in the way, they blocked, they got they got people to, to get in front of the. The shooters. Um, and when they had to go after Leeds, I thought they took the two goals brilliantly. And, you know, it, 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 two nil give Leeds a bit of a mount to play. It did indeed. Um, they've just got to go and win. The lads look devastated at the end. They've got to try and pick themselves up and get that all important win against Norwich now. Well, they have, and you know they've got to beat Norwich anyway. It's you know it's a, it's a big game. They've still got something to play for. Um, you know, as professional football, you, you you've got to go out there and, and, and try and do as well as you can. And it, it, it's just a shame that you know Leeds is probably Leeds' worst run of results has, has come at this point in the season. You know, one win in six. It's obviously it's not a good run of results, and it, you know it'd be frustrating for the lads because they've done well. To, you know, to, to get to this point and. And that will be where the frustration lies.